Elizabeth Anderson is a mother of two, but is actually helping and breastfeeding more than thousands of premature babies. Well, she has an outstanding figure of donating 1600 liters of breast milk in just nine years. Is it even possible? Yes. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Shivang. And I'm Dr. Kanika and welcome back to Dr. Dr. Duo. Duo. Every night, I dream the same dream. Nightmare begins. Elizabeth Anderson, a US citizen, is actually suffering from hyperlactation syndrome. So hyper means increased lactation is secretion of breast milk and it's a syndrome altogether. So in these days, huge amount of breast milk secreted out and this helped her produce and feed thousands of premature babies and in turn she could save so much of life so in this syndrome actually there is a release of prolactin which causes increased release of breast milk before we dive into the mechanics of it let's know how breast milk is formed well as we know your breast just does not contain fiber fatty tissue but it also contains glands so under the influence of prolactin the breast milk is produced which is stored in alveoli and released via ducts which upon stimulation by baby sucking is released outside so now this hyperlactation syndrome which elizabeth anderson is suffering led to a release of excessive breast milk so now this causes part of breast milk and even a lot of milk coming out without even stimulation of sucking so now this is troublesome there are many causes of hyperlactation syndrome let us discuss some of them number one the most common cause is hormonal imbalance as we know lactation is a process which is totally controlled by the level of the hormones in the body the three main hormones which control it are estrogen progesterone and the main one being prolactin well prolactin may be increased with either tumor in pituitary glands as you know pituitary gland produces this hormone so if there's a tumor there may be increased secretion of that secondary it may be due to some drugs or pills which the mother might be taking oral contraceptive pills or there are many hormonal pills which might affect the balance second excess demand so excess demand we can say it as it is due to the environmental factors also for the lactating mothers if they squeeze out the milk in bottles it causes a sense of excess demand in the body and thus causes overproduction of the milk number third galactagogues well galactagogues are drugs or some specific food items which increases the production of breast milk well it is mainly used for those mothers in whom breast milk is underproduced so it is really helpful in those cases but if taken in overdose it may lead to this syndrome fourth hypothyroidism so in hypothyroidism the thyroid gland is underactive which causes hormonal imbalance thus causes hyperlactation so some of the symptoms of this syndrome are engorgement of course if the breast milk is produced in so much of quantity your breast will become engorged swollen hot red tender and it can also lead to mastitis and infection second leaking breast which is too natural since it is hyperlactation even if the mother is not nursing or lactating still there would be a spurt of milk coming around in there which will hamper social and mental life also this excessive leaking and spurting may choke your child and it may lead to difficulty in breathing and in some rare cases it can even lead to death of the child due to choke and aspiration so now what that all milk she was too noble to start donating this milk to help save the premature baby's life so now she started collecting it and also started working with a breast pump company called as baby buddha where she started pumping the milk and collecting it in bottles to distribute it to the mothers who had problems with lactation. So, is there any cure available for hyperlactation syndrome? Unfortunately, there is no cure that can completely cure this syndrome. But of course, there are ways and some medicines which can reduce some amount of production of the milk, but they cannot cure it completely. Taking guidance from breastfeeding counselors, 
block feeding there are several techniques which may help you reduce the symptoms and the problems faced by this syndrome so yeah this is it for today's video i really hope that you like such interesting case which we found out and if you do do not forget to subscribe to our channel and let's make it the biggest medical community ever bye, bye guys